I'm in Greenport, Long Island. I love Greenport. My dad has a place out here. And when I come back, I want to find some place that's local and seasonal and organic. I want my food to be clean because I know that everything that I eat is going to become my body. It's going to become my skin, my hair, my nails, my cells, my blood, everything. I found a really great place. It's called Cuvée Bistro and Wine Bar. This is um, the watercress uh, bisque with scallops and uh, yeah, baby, about to dig in. And it's delicious. It's really delicious. And look at this. This is a little chai flower. I love that. It was a garnish, but you can certainly eat your garnishes. And now, I'm on to my second dish, which is a lobster profiterole. It's really yummy. Mm. I'm so excited that I found this place, I have to tell you. <laughs> now I have somewhere to eat when I come out to my dad's house. Okay, I have a lovely tuna tartare with a spicy harachi sauce and some pickled ginger on the side. Oh man, this is really, really divine, I have to tell you. Now we have local oysters from Pipes Cove, which is just down the road. And uh, this is actually the only way that I like oysters. <laughs> Deep fried! Yeah. So this, for me, totally works. It's deep fried with a little bit of, um, or maybe not deep fried, maybe pan fried with a little bit of spinach on there. Mm, that is yummy. Absolutely delicious. I'm in heaven. I'm moving on to uh, a roquefort salad with local tomatoes and uh, the greens from Satter Farms, which is right up the road. I think we passed it on the way down here, actually. We did, didn't we? This is a French roquefort with a little bit of tomato. I love roquefort cheese. When I was growing up, my dad used to have it in the house, and we always thought it was just moldy cheese, and we never ate it. And it is, <laughs> but it's good for you. down to Cuvée Bistro and Wine Bar. You'll love it. I promise. And if you don't, <laughs> knuckle sandwich. <laughs>